What's up my fellow actors, Kurt Yu here from actingcareercenter.com. Today I wanna to show you how easy it is to edit your self-taped audition videos with a free editing program called OpenShot. OpenShot is available for both Mac and PC. Now if you have a Mac and you have iMovie, then go ahead and use iMovie. But if you don't have iMovie, then OpenShot is a great free alternative. Same thing with PC. If you already have editing software installed, then you can use that. But if you don't, OpenShot is a great option. Now before we get started, I wanna tell you that I have put together a list of self-taping tools on my website, including cameras and lights and microphones and tripods and all that stuff. I'll put a link to that list down in the description below, as well as a link to download OpenShot. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna show you a self-taped audition example and how to edit it with OpenShot. Okay, before we get started, I just wanna show you the OpenShot website. This is openshot.org, and this is where you would go to download the software. I've already downloaded OpenShot and installed it, so we're just gonna close out of this window and get started. First thing I wanna show you are the three mock clips that I recorded. I recorded a mock audition, a mock slate, and a mock full body shot. This is my mock audition that I taped just a little while ago. Why does this fake audition feel so real? I don't know, but I don't like it. All right, so I had a little bit of fun with that. And as you can see, I walked into frame because I had to hit record on the camera and then I had to walk back to the camera and stop recording. So we just want to trim the beginning and the end of that video. Same thing with the slate. Kurt Yu, five foot eight. Pretty straightforward, right? So we want to do the same thing with the slate, trim that beginning and the end, and same thing with this full body shot. We just want to trim the beginning where I'm walking over to the wall, and then we'll keep these couple seconds where I'm just standing still, and then we're going to trim this end part where I walk back to the camera. I also want to get rid of that, the, the furniture on the left and the right side of the frame, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But this is a pretty standard audition where we have the audition clip and then a slate followed by a full body shot all in one file. So I'll show you how to do that in open shot. Here is the OpenShot dashboard. This is the video preview panel. This is the timeline down here. If you're intimidated by how the timeline looks, don't worry about it. It's actually very easy to use. So the first thing we're going to do is import our three videos. We're gonna grab the audition video and we're gonna drag that onto track one. We can use any track on here, but we're just gonna use track one because it's easy. The next thing we'll do is drag on the slate video and bring that right down here as well and then our full body shot video and drag that down here as well. So now we have all three videos here on our timeline in OpenShot. The first thing I wanna do on here that I wanna show you is if you look at these three video clips, they're very narrow. And when they're narrow like this, it's hard to be precise when we're trying to edit. So what we wanna do is expand this timeline so that the video clips are wider. And the way to do that is with this slider right up here. So let's pull this slider to the left and that's what we wanna do now our videos on the timeline are wider, so it's easier to be more precise when we are editing. So we're gonna start with this first video. Before we start, I wanna show you what this guy is. This is the playhead. Wherever I drag this playhead is what is being shown on this preview plane. As you can see, there's nothing here right now, so it's just a blank preview plane. But as I drag it into our video, you can see the frames of this audition clip, right? So we're gonna use that in a second, but what we wanna do right now is trim, the way we trim it is to bring our cursor down to the edge of this clip. And when we highlight the edge, you see how my cursor turns into this double arrow. When we click and drag, we start trimming all those excess frames that we don't need. So watch what happens when I click and drag to the right. Now you can see as I'm dragging, you see where I am in this clip and I'm gonna drag past where I start to talk. Well, look, right here, I'm already talking. So I dragged a little bit too far, but that's totally fine. All I need to do is drag back. And right about there is where I wanna start. So I'm gonna let go. And let's check to see if we trimmed it correctly. So I'm gonna drag this playhead now and bring this playhead to the beginning of the frame or of the clip rather. And let's play in this preview panel here. Why does this fake audition? That's pretty good. I think we did a good job of trimming the beginning. Now we just got to trim the end. The end is a little bit harder to trim while watching it here. So the easier way to do that is to play the video clip and then pause it at the place where we want to stop. So I'm going to play this. So real. I don't know, but I don't like it. 
boom, and I pause it right there. And that's the end of my audition clip. So you see where this red line is in the playhead? This is where I want to trim to. So all we have to do is now drag this and line it up with that red line. Boom, right about there. So let's play this again from the beginning. Click play. Why does this fake audition feel so real? I don't know, but I don't like it. I think we did a pretty good job of trimming the beginning and the end of that clip. So now we're going to go and do the same thing with the slate and the full body shot. Very straightforward. So the slate, I'm going to drag up until where I start talking. And right there I started talking, so I'm going to drag back a little bit. Right there is where I want to start it. And then let's watch that. Kurt U, five foot eight. And I'm going to pause it right there. And that's where I'm going to drag the end to. So I'm going to click and drag and line it up with that red line. And let's watch what we just did. Kurt U, five foot eight. Pretty good. All right. So the last thing we do is this guy right here. So we're going to move. I'm going to shift everything over. All right. So I'm going to drag and drag and drag and drag until I'm back to the wall and standing still. So right about there. Now let's bring this playhead. And let's watch that. I'm going to pause it right there. We only need a couple seconds of that. So I'm going to drag this end and line it up with the red line. And let's watch this. Pretty good. I think we did a pretty good job of trimming all three of these clips. The last thing I want to do here is I want to get rid of this. You see this furniture here and these picture frames and this light over here. I don't want to show these guys in frame. So I just want to crop in the two sides of this video. First thing we need to do is to bring this playhead to the beginning of this clip. And in order to make it precise right at the beginning of the clip, I'll show you how to do that. We're going to select the clip by clicking on it. And then we're going to click this little left arrow, which is previous marker. Watch what happens to the playhead when I click it. You see how it jumped right to the beginning and it's lined up perfectly? That's where we want the playhead. So once the playhead is there, we want to go into properties and these are the properties right over here. If you don't see this, you can right click on the clip and hit properties. So the three things that we need to use here in properties are crop X, crop width, and then location X. Don't worry about what these mean right now. I'll just show you really quick. Once you get the hang of this, it'll only take you about 10 seconds to be able to crop this frame to the way that we want it. So the first thing we want to do is crop X. We click in this little slider here, and I'm going to click and drag. What, watch what happens in the preview plane when I click and drag. See how I'm moving the video left and right? So we want to move it over to the left to get rid of that furniture over there, that little bookshelf. And I'm going to move it even closer to my shoulder, so right about there. And then we go right above it to this crop width and click into that. And then I'm going to click and drag on crop width and watch, see how that's cropping the right side of it. And I'm just going to get rid of all that stuff to the right of me. So now we have the two, the left and the right side cropped in. So now it's just a nice clean gray wall in myself. We don't see that ugly furniture and lamp and picture frames and stuff like that. The only thing that looks weird now is this is over on the left side of the frame. So we want to shift it over to the center. So that's where we go into this location X slider. Click on that slider. We click and drag. And we're just going to move that over to the center right about there and let go. And now we have that centered. So I think we're done with this full body shot framing now. All we have to do is now line up these clips to the very beginning. So starting with the first clip, we'll drag this to the beginning. And then the second clip, we'll drag it to the end and watch what happens when we get it close to that clip. It snaps right to it. Once you see that blue line, you know that it's right back to back with that clip. And then we take this third one, drag it over, snap it to that blue line. Now we have all three clips back to back to back. Let's play it real quick to make sure that everything looks good. Why does this fake audition feel so real? I don't know, but I don't like it. Kurt U, five foot eight. I think that looks pretty good. Now the last thing we have to do is just export this. We click this little red dot, it looks like a record button, and that exports our file. I'm going to rename this file, I'm going to name it Kurt U Mock Black <laughs> Mock Audition. And I'm going to change my folder here. And we're going to put it in the self tape folder. And then the last thing I want to do is change this video file up to 1080p at 30 frames per second.
So we, we're going to export a full HD 1080p video, and then we're going to hit export video. All right, it's done exporting. We can click done, and let's take a look at our final product. Why does this fake audition feel so real? I don't know, but I don't like it. Kurt Yu, five foot eight. All right, I think we did a pretty good job. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you have any follow-up questions, leave them down in the comments below. And remember, the link to download OpenShot is down in the description, as well as my link to my list of self-taping tools. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.